Let me force myself to stand up. I am not feeling this moment of day at all. And I feel like it's important that, like my first instinct was pick up the camera. And I don't know why, that was my first instinct, but I did it. Because I feel like I act very optimistic on socials. Like I'm constantly laughing, constantly joking around, constantly posting super fun things. So I'm like, Nick, you're really sad and upset right now for no reason, pick up your camera because this will be something new. And the funny thing is, nothing happened to me. I have no reason to be upset. I have no one to be mad at. And I am just sad and annoyed. This will probably only last for about an hour and then it'll be perfectly fine. See the cherry on top? The camera died. I feel like I pick up my camera whenever I'm super excited to film something and super ecstatic. And right now I feel like I'm going to literally implode. But it's also not that big of a deal, I'm extremely dramatic. I'm just thinking, why not record a very negative moment where you're feeling like shit? Because, and talk about it, because I love fucking talking. It's like my favorite thing in the world. And I feel like talking is super underrated and that's why I have a YouTube channel, that's why I do social media. is because I talk, I'm a talker, and I will talk till the day I die. Overall point of picking up the camera and recording is it's just a it's a funk it's a mood i know that i'm gonna be fine later i know that i might not be fine later tonight but by the time i go to bed i'm gonna wake up in the morning and this i won't even know why i was upset tonight but the thing is it's okay to like let yourself be upset in like the heat of that moment but i just wanted to say like it's chill to be upset and angry for no reason because that's me right now in my prime form sitting on my bathroom with my shower behind me and um yeah that's all i'm doing i'm literally sitting on my sink but i think i don't know i've never felt the urge to pick up my camera and just speak more and that's why i'm super happy that i have this channel and i'm gonna start being consistent here is because like I can pick this up and do what I want whenever I want to. I can speak whenever I want to to you guys, and it's just exciting because it's a little outlet for me, and I hope it can be an outlet for you guys as well. And I'm just super excited to continue picking up my camera whenever my, my body desires to do so. So I also have this thing which goes along with what's going on right now, or just like something I want to bring up, and I feel like it fits for this video, where like, you don't understand how powerful you can be to someone. One of the most powerful things is literally words and how you communicate to someone. And I feel like that's something that is totally like looked past or taken for granted is how powerful your words can be. No matter what you say to someone, whether it's a positive thing or a negative thing, could completely 360 that person's day a completely different way. So I feel like I just wanna say this because I want you guys to be conscientious. <clears throat> I want you guys to be conscientious of the fact that like what you could say to someone could completely change the way their day's gonna go, the way their week's gonna go, the way their month's gonna go. If you go up to a teacher and you compliment them, they're gonna think about that when you're they're grading your paper. They're gonna think about that when they go home and they tell whoever they go home to about their day. If you're walking by someone on the street and they're having a terrible day and they're like not excited to go where they're going and you're like, oh, I love your shoes, or I love your shirt, that's gonna completely change their confidence when they show up to wherever they're going. So it's just the impact we have on one another and to be careful with that because that's something I take advantage of is the fact that something I may say may completely change the outcome of something for someone. And I'm not saying be super, super critical on every single thing you say, because that'd be outrageous. You'd be thinking way too much about what you're going to say. But I just say to be more cautious, because it, it, it happens, unfortunately, in this world, that happens more negatively than it does positively. I feel like people are way easier to criticize in today's day and age than they are to compliment. And I feel like that's something that is super underrated is compliments. I feel like compliments are like extremely less common now versus when they used to be. I feel like people are so quick to, I don't know why I'm like 
I'm gonna explode. I feel like people are just way faster to criticize someone than they are to compliment someone. And I feel like we could collectively change that as a community of people. And I'm just bringing up that up to you guys because I have some sort of slight impact. There's people that are gonna watch this video and listen to me speak and take something away from this or not take something away from it, but at least I said something. So be nice to those around you is basically the ultimate saying and take it easy on yourself. Let yourself have those, have those bad moments and maybe someone will go say something to me that'll change my night and that is it. I'm done. This was a moment of weakness. I'll be fine in like five minutes. I just felt like speaking what was on my mind for YouTube and I will talk to you guys next time I talk to you guys and I'm super happy that we had this conversation on my kitchen sink. Peace and love. I'm already feeling better that I just talked. Oh, that's what you guys do for me. This is it. I'm talking to my phone right now. You guys haven't even reacted to this footage of me yet. I'm already feeling better. So I love you all and I will talk to you all very, very soon. And I appreciate you.